Alright, so welcome to the Death Knight 2021 remake. Uh, the class got, well, a remake. <laughs> uh, we're gonna check it out today, so it looks quite different already. So, um, this little sword here is our present shift, I think. So, right now it's on damage over time, and I think this is healing. Yeah, shifted to healing presence. So, what this is gonna do, if we turn it on, we're gonna do about 60% more damage, but we're gonna take about 5% of our health over turn, over time, sorry. So 60% more damage and minus 5% of our total health over turn. So um that's out of the way. We can switch that whenever we want. Against this dummy, we don't really need to worry, obviously, because he can't hurt us. Oh by the way, it's 3% of your maximum HP heals. Um with this heals, so uh, nice. Now one thing that confuses me is why we still have this. What does that do now? Does that do the same thing? Did, uh, that this used to be this. Which are time for the either damage or healing. So I guess this is still in play, but it does the same thing. So we can get an extra damage over time or heal over time. So the gap of undeath is actually reduced to two turns duration. Uh, interesting. Uh, the obliterate skill damage was actually reduced. So it now does 125% uh, total damage. and the, But the cooldown was brought down to 10, which is pretty good. There we go. And they actually changed the animation for it as well, by the look of it. Okay, so Soul Slash. Uh, damage reduced to 100%. Uh, damage over time, damage skin now skills of your number of relics. From 40% base to damage, um, to 80% base damage. I don't have any relics, so I don't really know. It's not really going to do that much for me. Uh, there we go, 49. Not terrible. So, Blood Tap, which is the attack that heals us. Um, now requires a hit to heal, so we can't miss the attack or block it or anything. Um, amount healed increases your uh, number of relics. From 8% to 12% with relics. Uh, let's try this. Nice. It's funny because it damaged us and then healed us, so it didn't really do too much. Okay, so the necrotic shift is actually a little bit different. Uh, we grant another turn after use, so it's a bit like Gambit for um, uh, Chaos Weaver. Uh, applies a damage over time or heal over time. Depending on your presence. Right now it should be damage. Um, well, when I apply it. Econ Shimming Presence applies to 20% um, to 40% based on Relic's damage over time. So when I click this, um, it's going to do about 20% damage over time. In Healing Presence, applies a 3% to 5% heal, depending on your Relic's. A swapping presence removes the necrotic cares effects from both you and your foes. Cooldown reduce the 10. So let's try it. Right now I'm in the damaging. Try this. And then it's gonna damage him over time. So let's see. 65. Oh no, 30, sorry. Okay, so inspire weakness. This used to be one of the buffing attacks. But it now does a um, 100% damage attack. And all and crit reduction now increases based on your number of relics. From minus 50 to minus... No, minus 30 to minus 50, sorry. Let's try this. Okay, um... And we get... It doesn't really... Oh yeah, there you go. So we have all this here. Minus 50 to all, so we're going to do 50% more damage. When we use that, which is really good. A minus 50 to crit. Wait, why does it minus 50? Do I have relics? What are relics? I don't understand. I think I'm stupid. Uh, but either way, that is really good. Okay, so Unholy Will uh, no longer attempts a stun or damage over time. The skill now increases your all and health resistance by 20 for two turns. The amount increases basically our number of relics from 20 to 60. We'll try this. And then I get um, 60 to all and health. Which is really good. 
Okay, so Dark Right actually costs no mana now, which is pretty cool. And no longer applies the damage over time or heals. Uh, now does an attack with base damage of 100%. This skill now allows you to sacrifice 25% of your HP to grant 20 boost and bonus for 5 turns. This cannot kill you. Uh, the amount increases based on your number of relics from 20 to 40. Uh, cooldown reduced to 7 turns. Okay. We've got some major damage stacking up now. So we have um, 40 boost and 40 bonus for all that HP. What we are going to do now though, because our health has gone down, we are going to switch to a healing presence. Okay, so strength reap, another one of our uh, buff attacks. Uh, base damage increased to 100%. Now must hit to activate. Uh, so you can't miss or the attack can't be blocked. Uh, it steals 20, 20 boost and 20 bonus from your target. So it takes that away from the enemy and gives it to us. Kind of like it always used to do. Uh, applies 20 boost and 20 bonus for yourself. That's what it says. Uh, the amount granted to yourself, not debuffed on the target. Increases based on the number of your relics from 20 to 40. Always applies minus 20 boost bonus to the target when hit. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so I just kind of figured out. I think our relics are actually like your death knight gear. You know, like your ring or amulet. Maybe. I don't know. That's, what, that's just what I think. Because there used to be an attack on the old death knight that... Um, did more damage based on the items you had, so the more death knight gear you had. So I think that's the reason, maybe, I don't know. So we have the edge of death, um, removed summon minion, we now have it on this attack, like the animation for it. Uh, this skill applies on the edge to yourself, reducing your HP to 1, but also granting death resistance for 3 turns. So it's kind of like Aegis on the Kaze River. Uh, when on the edge wears off after battle, um, or after battle, heals 15% HP, up to 25 based on your relics, cooldown reduced to 20. So we've got 1 HP, and then when it runs out we'll get 15% more. There you go, 25% actually, sorry. Okay, so Curse Strike, every Death Knight item increases damage. Um, base damage increased to 115%. Every Death Knight Relic increases its boost by 10%. Cooldown reduced to 2, quite nice. Death Knight Relic boost is now ad additive instead of multi-occasion, whatever it says. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so Dread Blade. Uh, base damage reduced to 175%. Um, percent. Damage is increased by 1% every 1% of our missing HP. Damage boost is now additive. So, um, we get damage based on our missing health. And then, Unholy Shadow, cooldown reduced to 1, no longer evil lot. Okay, so Unholy Shadow is our multi attack. There we go. Okay, so every ability after that is basically the same. But either way, that was uh, pretty cool. I kind of like it. It's very similar to what it was before, but just a lot better. Either way, though, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.